Hey, let's do a cheap trick song. This is called Clock Strikes Ten. I used to play this in high school. My buddy Joel sang it, and I just thought it was outrageous. It was just great. So, this one was on live at Budokan and in color. It starts with uh, these harmonics like this. around again with a ver so that was an intro and a verse and a chorus um, <laughs> it's just really fun so those harmonics are really interesting I remember when uh, an older kid showed me harmonics and you're like is this science what is this and it was just so exciting so a harmonic is there's a few spots on the neck that are that they work really well one is 12 fret so that's why are there sirens? Because it's Wednesday, right? Yeah, Wednesday morning they test the sirens. First Wednesday of the month or something. So second string, 12th fret. That's crazy how you can lift, take your finger away. So I'm not pressing down. I'm touching the string exactly over the fret at the 12th fret, not pressing very light, super light with the left hand. If I press, it's not working. You have to be super soft and you can take your finger off and it just keeps ringing. So that's the first note. Second note is same fret, third string. So that's a 12, 12. Those are half notes. Then you go to fourth string, seventh fret. And that's another spot that it works 12 and seven. And then fourth string, 12th fret. Reverse it. That's pretty, that's just awesome. Then uh, the snare hits, whack, and you play, which is a uh, chromatic scale. Kind of like an exercise that your guitar teacher would tell you to do. And that's going to be like a 2 one, zero on the third string using middle and index. That's an A, A flat, G. Then fourth string is a 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, which is F sharp, F, E, D sharp, D. Then fifth string is a four, three, two, one open, which is C sharp, C, B, A sharp, A. And sixth string is four, three, two, zero, which is G sharp, G, F sharp, E. So that's a lot of fun. Now, a lot of my students, I'll catch them doing all downstrokes. You got to get into alternate picking. I'm going to try it with all downstrokes. It could work. Okay. I will grant you that is possible. Now, I'm going to do it with alternate picking. That feels a lot better. And remember, my fingers are sitting here on the face of the guitar not floating here. I'm not using my shoulder back here on the bridge. That fixes a whole bunch of things. So it's this edge of your hand sitting on the bridge here. Fingers out, hold the pick correctly on the side of your index. 
curl the index in. That, way. that just helps. Okay, so intro again. <laughs> Too much fun with that. Then the verse is your good old Chuck Berry rock and roll, chug 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 like a train. So that's open low E, second fret on the fifth string, that's an E5 power chord, and I'm adding my ring finger on the beat. One and two and three and four and. So on the two and four, ring finger goes to fourth fret. Right hand is still at the bridge. All right, so that's playable, you know, but now some of my guys are going to have trouble with this next chord. That's your G5, which is a 3 and a 5, and Pinky's going to hit the 7. Now, if that's giving you trouble, just skip it. Just go. But if you want, if you can do that, which... Yeah, I've been doing it since I was a teenager, so I'm just used to it. Okay, then haul that exact same operation, two frets towards the body of the guitar, that's an A5. Which is, remember the, the frets get shorter or closer together as we go up, so that will be a little easier. The G5 is pretty big distance. So here's our A5. Then it comes around to E again, the E chord. The G. Then you go to B at the seventh fret, which adds excitement. You know, the chord progression is pushing towards something. That's what I love in a chord progression, what pulls us in a direction. So that's a 7 and a 9, pinky hitting the 11. Then we take it up to D, which is a 10 and a 12. So that's easier, less, less stretching up here. And your pinky's hitting 14. And then we've got our chorus, like this. And that's where um, we're doing that power chord at the 12, uh, 10 and 12, the D5. We're, and now pinky is going. So it's going 14, 15. 14. So if we did a single note, it'd be 12, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 12. Da, 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 da. You really got me going tonight. A little rest there, and the A5. Which is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's the chorus, then you're back to verse two. Let's just throw a metronome on here and have a little, let's just check it out. Metronome. I summon you. Ooh, we're out of power. We'll try it. Maybe it will die, but... It's a pretty good moving song. I'm gonna go 150 beats a minute. Two, three, four.
hands on the uh, studio album, it modulates to other keys. I forgot how the live version ends, but, you know, if you get that far, if you really need to know, I'll look it up for you. Let me know. And that's just a cheap trick song that I love. <laughs> it's pretty simple. The only problem is going to be the stretching and the harmonics are interesting and that kind of descending lick is kind of a nice exercise. So it's not horribly difficult. Uh, so I just, I've got a student that we're working on cheap trick songs. So that's why this one popped up. So maybe if you want to do some more cheap trick songs, let me know and uh, I'll figure them out. Cool, man. Keep rocking.